This is race five of the setup board series here 2002 at NorCal Hobbies. This is a really fun place to come and race. So this is 21.5 Sportsman. 21.5 I think is a great uh, turn motor to actually start racing. We used to do 17.5, 21.5 is fabulous to be honest. I am the sixth car uh, and I'm gonna spoil it. I'm gonna end up in four, fourth. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna podium. But I've really been enjoying my X-Ray X4. Now this is a 2022, the 2023 is out. And there's a few upgrades. Well, the main upgrades that I'm interested in possibly doing to this car are actually the, uh, the little arms uh, for the steering to turn because I don't actually like them. But in general, the car, it's an easy car to drive. It's easy to work on, it's easy to drive. Uh, I really do like the double wishbone uh, suspension on it. I am running the low friction belts, uh, which are great. One of the things to note about X-Ray though is it's expensive. Every part is expensive. So if you buy X-Ray parts, they are expensive as can be. Uh, but the vehicle is very, very durable. So if you're an individual, you think, oh, I really want to get into it. Uh, you know, I've budgeted this much, I've saved this much, but I just don't want a car that's going to break every other turn then x-rays good to go now right there with the gentleman the uh, blue and white car that's right behind me I was having so much fun uh, just battling it out uh, with that car I'm, I'm gonna figure out what happened because all of a sudden I just lost sight of him uh, and it wasn't because I all of a sudden got that much better uh, but this is when racing gets really really fun when you have somebody else and that individual is pushing you to be honest for some reason i ended up getting nervous again so i was actually a little bit shaky you can tell sometimes on the turns i'll do really good turns and then not or if you look at that blue car i'll pull ahead and then i won't so there i crashed got passed darn what am i gonna do whoops oh thank you uh it happens right uh, sometimes you lose control and then uh you had this amazing battle and there it goes and because it's an actual race and you're not out there with let's just say a buddy you can't exactly say hey you know can you hold on uh, here let's start over which i wish we could uh okay so uh there i go uh, i am running race green i used to run a burgundy or maybe they called it metallic red which was a burgundy color and i used to love that color but everybody was out of stock for the longest time and i just couldn't get paint so saw some cans of uh, race green which is a beautiful color in my opinion and I ended up switching so my on-road is all race green now with still the same black front with the silver uh, stripes and the white meatballs with a number two now so I actually have numbers now uh, which is fabulous uh, but uh, one of the things to note is it is winter uh, we have one more race to go and it's been really fun uh it's a little cooler it's a lot cooler uh the track is cooler and as you can see none of the track is actually in the sun anymore for the main for the a main whereas if you look at some of the older videos from the series uh you know, race one race two you will see that a good portion of the track is in the sun so you can see the gradual progression i guess in a way uh i guess that's what happens when you're this far north in the uh, northern hemisphere uh, for those of you that live even farther north uh, some of you are probably thinking like oh that's nothing like come over here <laughs> we don't even have sun that much anymore you know I totally get it uh, at least there isn't any snow here uh, but uh, there is snow nearby so that's that's pretty fun how do you know you're from this area well all of us that are from this area we talk about going to the snow uh, that's how you know. If not, then we would just be in snow. We'd probably be shoveling it. Uh, you know, hello to my relatives in the Midwest. Uh, you guys can keep shoveling snow. Uh, save some for me. Some someday I'll visit you. But uh, that being said, let's get back to the race. Uh, tires, team uh, team powers. Those are the tires. So those are spec tires that we have to run. Uh, sportsman is sort of where it begins. I mean, rookie is where it begins, but after rookie, sportsman. So don't be afraid. Pick up an RC, uh, enter a rookie. But my recommendation would be look at what sportsman is running, which, like I mentioned, a lot of people are running the Mugens, the X-rays. Uh, I'm not sure if people are running Yokomos here. We used to run Yokomos. I used to run a Yokomo. Uh, 
see what motors, what ESCs. Uh, I'm running just a Hobbywink, just stock ESC. That's all I run. Uh, I don't need anything else. Uh, motor, 21.5. Look for 21.5. Uh, I have run the slot machine. I have run the... I'm running the Hobbywing in this one. I actually prefer the Hobbywing G4, uh, not the G3. So it's the G4. And then set up your car as if we're going to run in Sportsman. Run in Rookie. Run a series or a race. See how you do. And then after that, just you have everything you need to go into Sportsman. So that would be my recommendation. Uh, that being said, race is pretty much over. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.